As we have heard over the last few weeks, there are attempts to roll back a key element of the transformation of Puerto Rico's energy system by politicizing energy regulation. Let's not be fooled. The Act 10 debate is not about net metering. It is about a direct assault on the independence of PREP, the independent regulator, and its ability to work free of interference. The government has made an abrupt departure from its policy of depoliticizing the energy sector and entrusting important decisions about PREPA to an independent, experienced regulator. Act 10 interferes with the work of Puerto Rico's independent regulator by allowing special interests to silence PREP. The Oversight Board's position is very simple. We are 100% beyond the renewable energy policies of Act 17 and the move to renewables in Puerto Rico. I repeat and make it clear, we are 100% behind the renewable energy policies of Act 17 and the move of Puerto Rico to renewables. We are also, however, supportive of allowing the independent regulator in law to study the impacts of energy policies on all of the people of Puerto Rico and on rates. Let's look at the facts. Now, I understand there are a lot of people making a lot of money through these programs, and they don't want to have an independent analysis. But we cannot and we should not close our eyes and ears to facts and data. The Oversight Board position is simple. PREB must complete the study mandated in 2019 to assess Puerto Rico's currently energy distribution program. Unless and until PREB were to make changes, Puerto Rico's net metering policy does not change. It remains exactly as it is. The public needs to understand that despite the rhetoric out there, there is no scenario whereby the 100,000 plus current customers are impacted by any decision. They are all grandfathered in. Solar is in the public interest. PREB will determine what policies need to be in place and what rules need to be reviewed so that we can determine the best way to reach our renewable goals. The energy system has only just begun to recover from decades of political mismanagement that left the people of Puerto Rico with a failing energy grid. We must allow PREB to do its work. The assault on PREB is another example of returning to the practice of decision making separated from the long term impact analysis that brought PREPA to bankruptcy.